Alright Landers, so the mid-month banner has just been announced. A shout out to these lads for getting it right in our prediction video. Let's see what mid-month has to bring. Is it a premium, seasonal, thousand year blood war? Let's see it. It is the Lost Agent Summons Revert. Hmm, big quick hold on. So it's a premium banner. Alright, not too bad. I'm 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 kinda curious here who's this gonna be because you know the it, but you already got all the full bringers. So, like, who, who, is it Yuzu and Karen? <laughs> it's like, potential, it can't be Orihime. We just got a premium Orihime. I'm genuinely curious who this is going to be. It can't be another Ichigo, right? We just got one. I generally, I'm generally curious. I have no idea who they're going to pick. Let's find out. Are they doing full bringers again? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, we kind of got it right. We kind of got it right. So, for some reason, when I saw Lost Agent, I, f I was thinking Four Bringers. I totally forgot. Yeah, like, we almost got this right. I said they were going to do Four Bringers. They did characters we already have. We literally just got a premium Shinji like two or so months ago. We have another one. We have Rose and Kensei. I knew they were probably going to eventually do those because they don't have a big part to play during the Thousand Year Blood War arc during the first, like, invasion part. But okay, we have a new Shinji from the TLA arc. We have a new Rose from the TLA arc. His artwork looks kind of cool. And then we have a new Kensei. So for the Kensei fans out there, look at that. Like, we kind of predicted that at least. We said it would be a new Kensei. And here we are. So it is a free character banner. The Lost Agent Summons Reverts. We're going to check out the gameplay later today, so we're not going to do that in this particular video. But what we have here is a power, speed, and also technique character. Very simple attribute lineup. It's going to be here from the 16th to the 27th. So the second this banner does leave is when the end of my banner does start. Individuals are looking kind of eh. So we don't care about the individuals. <laughs> Let's just look at the main characters, right? Um, for the most part, I, I don't even know what the, I want these characters to be, to be honest. I'm not, like, that excited for it. But I'm happy to see Rose... I was going to say Rose. I'm happy to see Kansai get another character because Rose has already gotten one. Uh, but I'm happy to see like a tier layer Rose because I feel like this design is kind of cool. It's nice to see them in the captain outfit. So, you know, I'm, I'm down for this. I'm down for this. So, firstly, we're having a look at Kensei. What we have seen when it comes to Minma characters is they like to fulfill niches when it comes to guild quests. So these characters' killers are most likely going to be like a Spada, Quincy killer. I wouldn't be surprised here if we get an Espada booster because we are in desperate need of that. And it looks like Kente is going to be a captain character, immediate strong attack character. So he might be a lead for the captain week and that might make for a good one. He's a melee character, so there isn't that many good melee leads for the captain week in terms of SP characters. So I kind of like that already. Not too bad. Strong attack recharge, time at minus. 12%, okay. Weak in duration, minus 100%, so that's good. He's immune to the particular status, I mean, that he wants to be immune to. He recovers 20% stamina for your entire team. Every time you do another map, that's not bad. And when at full stamina, he gets a 40% strong attack damage increase. He's a Link or character. And he's an Arena character. Okay, Kensei. I haven't, I just kind of just skimmed over his skills there. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy for this. Kensei fans, you just got yourself a new character, a great character from the looks of it, despite him being a mid bump. Does he get Havoc? Still not ready to give characters Havoc for mid bumps. Very strange why they've done that, but okay, it doesn't look too bad because he does come with a 40% Berserker on top of Frenzy plus one and also the extra 40% strong attack damage increase. That's very good. Kind of makes up for the fact that he doesn't have a usable killer because it is kind of captain killer. He does also have that stamina recovery so we can somewhat keep that full stamina to a certain extent. Then he does 60% more damage to lacerated enemies. So I'm going to assume here every attack that he does have has, uh, you know, more damage to lacerated enemies. And then he has an increased chance of inflicting a status one against any technique character that's good that is good and then again in arena you get the extra 10 percent recharge you're getting the extra power items frenzy plus one so he has frenzy plus two and also poise this kensei for a mid mom character is actually looking really good the only thing he's lacking right now is havoc but you can get around that you can get around that you can use him in it if you want to he does have that increased status of chance you can use him in epic grades to farm links or potions and the main thing is that he is a He's another premium character to get Link Shot Potion. That's the main thing to take away from this particular character. Whether he's amazing or bad, he looks to be good. He's another premium character that offers the Technique Link Shot Potion skill. So that means sometime in the future, you might have him. And then maybe a year from now, just like Fierce Battle Kisuke, for example, you might eventually get this character 5-5. And it means you can just farm Link Shot Potion super fast with this particular character. So I like the idea of this character. He has a lot of usage here. It looks like he's going to be great in Guild Quest. Looks like he's going to be good in IT if you want to use him there. He's going to farm Link Shot Potion so you can use him in IZ, Epic Raids. And he's also an arena character. So for a mid-month character, I can't say he's looking kind of good. All right, next up, we have Shinji. Range strong attack character with the debuff 
SA2. We're gonna bring up a problem, essentially, it's, it's kind of weird. So, the debuff attack as his SA2, keep in mind, it's classed as a melee attack. So, this character... He's a human killer. All right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, uh, what I was going to say is the debuff attack is classed as a melee attack. And if you decide to use this character in Guild Quest, for example, it would therefore mean your SA2 would not do damage. So, if you look at the Barragon, for example, he's a ranged character, but then his SA2 is a melee attack. In the human Guild Quest, there's no resistance. So, it means his SA2 is going to be able to do damage. So, that's kind of cool. And we don't have that many debuff characters, so I'm kind of interested in this. Soul Trait damage inflicted at full stamina plus 30%. Very good soul trait. So already from the get-go, these two characters are looking great. And we haven't even gotten to Rose yet. That's a very powerful soul trait that you want to have on your speed characters, especially when it comes to maybe Guild Quest Nukin, for example. He does have read all affiliation dodges, so he's a good character to farm at power attribute scrolls. If you need medium or small, this character would do both of them. Does come with guard break. That's something that, that's worth mentioning, I guess. This Kente doesn't have guard break, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then alongside that, this Shinji has 60% Berserker with Frenzy plus one does have Elm Reversal. Is he also a Arena character? Not necessarily. He does pick up Long Stride, but he's not like particularly an Arena character. But he, at the very least, if you do want to use him there, he does get Long Stride, and that makes him actually usable. He has the Elm Reversal too. He's also buffing your team's strong attack damage and debuffing them too to a certain extent. And then he also has the Read All Affiliation dodges. So you could technically use him there. But I don't know how good his strong attacks are right now, so I'm not really sure what that's going to be all about. Uh, but so far, looks pretty good. The Elm Reversal's nice. He basically has an 80% Berserker with the debuff SA2 does have that 12% recharge in his skill and does come with Diminisher. And Diminisher, by the way, makes it so the debuff effect lasts 20 seconds. But as always, when it comes to the debuff attack, keep in mind it only ever affects whoever's on the field when you press that SA2. So the problem that this attack has is that it only essentially affects one wave. So it's good in guild quests when you use it against the final boss. It's good in epic raids. But, you know, compared to a boost SA2, for example, that's a constant buff regardless of the enemies on your screen for 20 seconds. But the debuff effect, the second you use that SA2 and you kill the enemies that are affected by the debuff, well then now you're waiting for an SA2 to come back. It's going to have a slower cooldown and the enemies that now spawn in aren't debuffed. So it's kind of like a weird situation, that debuff SA2. Kind of a gimmick, but I do like to see it back. I don't mind this. And I'm kind of excited to see what type of strong attack he gets alongside that SA2. And then our next character and final character, we have Rose, a melee attack strong attack character. Okay. Okay, all attacks inflict paralysis, and he comes with the new soul trait, speed droplet drop rate plus 30%. So if you pulled Uryu, for example, uh, you certainly don't need this character, but he does have the droplet drop rate as his soul trait. So that means you could use the new Uryu, get that 30% speed droplet, use him as a link, and then now you have 60% speed droplet drop rate. Uh, kind of interesting. Again, really like they're putting that on a premium character. It means you you know, you can get that sometime in the future. That's the main thing, again, to keep in mind with these particular characters, right? You might not summon for them now, but there will be a time in the future you are going to get these characters, and that's going to be always a very good soul trait. And for the most part, we're looking at free for free good characters, right? We have Kensei, power character, looks to be solid in a lot of con different content, is a Link's Soul character. Then you have Shinji, very good soul trait for any type of, you know, just type of content really that's a good soul trait and then you have rose who is also another good soul trait he does come with freeze duration minus 100 sprint to plus one and also guard break plus hit hidden enemies i kind of like that okay okay Ooh. Rose is a farmer. Okay, he is a farmer. Man took time out of Soul Society to go start farming stuff. So, 40% Berserker on the lower side, but it doesn't really matter. Does have that 20% stamina recovery. Does have the built-in recharge to make up for the fact that he doesn't have, you know, a recharge soul traits. And then he comes with... Uh, Crystal draw drop rate plus 50% and also coin drop rate plus 70%. The second character in the game right now to have the coin drop rate plus 70%. The first one being Eba. So it's nice to see that return. It means you can use those two characters and get a 140% coin drop increase. And then also crystal draw drop plus 50%. I think he's also the second character to have that. I think the first one was Nerge, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not too sure, but this is the first character to have both of those. That's good. And again... This, again, is good. This ain't bad. Um, 
doesn't look anything too insane. He looks to be a farming character. So potentially in terms of the ban, he's the worst of the three in terms of damage potential, but he is the farming character. So you want to use him as a link to get speed droplet. You can use him in droplet zone again to farm droplets if you don't have Uryu, for example, or Ryoka. And if you are a new player and somehow get this character, you can use him to get extra coins, extra crystals. That's not too bad. Overall, I think the banners actually are quite good. The banner itself in terms of the fillers are just, uh, just, yeah. You know, you're not you're not gonna put on this banner. Let's be honest. We aren't, aren't pulling on this banner It's not worth it, but I, I like it. I actually kind of like this banner now personally I think this is a very easy skip. I don't think anyone was gonna summon on it and I guess it It kind of lines up with the anime also This is based off the old anime style, right? But these characters are gonna show up in the thousand year blood war arc and we are gonna see them in this design Obviously it isn't based off the first invasion that we are gonna see in a couple more episodes But these are the designs that we are gonna see them in so it kind of makes sense if it, 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 You see what I'm going with it kind of makes sense why they chose these three characters They aren't the new anime, but they are gonna show up in that particular arc in this style So they can kind of be like played alongside it so I kind of like it. And I guess this looks like we aren't getting a Halloween banner this year. Unless end of month is a Halloween banner. Which I highly doubt it would be. I feel like it's very likely to be a Spirits of a Wii banner. Or a Thousand Year Blood Bowl banner. But for those wondering about the strong attacks these characters have. Let's quickly break it down. First he's starting off with Kensei. So Kensei's SA1 appears to be a distant AoE in front of him with a 625 radius. Pretty good SA1, all things considered. His SA2 is a 2500 length beam in front of him. Again, pretty good SA2. But thirdly, I want that as SA1. But again... It's a pretty good SA2 regardless. But then his SA3 is a lunge into a... Vortex? That's kind of weird as an SA3. Uh, Yami has it as an SA2. It's a, it's a lunge into a Vortex. That kind of ruins the character, in my opinion. That's kind of a Yikers. But uh, we've never seen it as an SA3. Maybe it's going to work different again. We'll check that out in the gameplay later today. So that's kind of interesting. It's a different type of kit. Maybe they're experimenting. And I think it's a good time to experiment on premium mid-month characters than it is to do on the hyper characters. So not really too bad. But our next character is Shinji. Shinji looks to have the uh, range collision SA1 with the 18% rectification that 5th anniversary Biaki has, for example. Not off to the greatest start, considering that his SA2 is going to have a very slow cooldown. So you kind of want your SA1 to be really good to make up for that. So that's a tad bit disappointing. But at the very least, his SA2 is a 800 distant area in front of him. And then his SA3 is just a standard four screen strong attack. Kit wise, I think Shinji isn't looking that good, if I'm being honest. I feel like he's just going to end up being a link, which isn't really a bad thing, but. Yeah, that SA1 really doesn't do him any favors. And then last we have Rose. And Rose's SA1 is going to be a Vortex in front of him. Very similar to Artwork Ichigo's SA1. His SA2 is going to be a Lunge in front of him with a 725 radius AOE. Pretty good SA2, all things considered. And then his SA3 is going to be a full screen. But what I kind of find interesting about this particular character is that his summon quote is, I don't suppose you can appreciate my art, can you? Does he not say that to Nanana? Is this technically a Thousand Year Blood War character hidden, disguised as a TLA character? That's my, that might be what this banner is, funny enough. But uh, with that said, that's basically the video for today. Just checking out the new mid-month banner. Not what I was expecting, but I think it's just a decent mid-month banner. Again, I'm not expecting anything crazy when it comes to these characters. It's just another easy skip. But for those that get these characters in the future, they definitely are going to be good. Again, quick recap. Kente, for the most part, is going to be a Linksaw character. Rose appears to be a Droplet. Crystal, coin for character, and then Shinji is a very good link for just speed characters in general. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these characters in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later today when we react to the character gameplay, which will be in a couple hours from now. So take care, and peace.